Now, if my name was Kevin Brown, Commonwealth Picker, my net profit would probably be about $300,000 more than that. <laughs>what's up y'all my name's shane and today i snuck into flippy mcflipperson's local goodwill i spent 117 dollars on nothing but clothes and shoes so we're gonna take a look at what i got i did not film while i was at the store I didn't have my gopro on me it was just a spur of the moment decision to run in there and he did catch me on the way out. He was walking in when I was leaving and uh, hopefully wasn't too upset with me. I feel like I left him a bunch of stuff since I didn't look at hard goods or anything like that. But you'll have to tune into his channel to see what he found today. But let's take a look at what I got. I got these men's size 13 Adidas Cloud Foam basketball shoes. These things are in almost new condition no cleaning necessary i'm just gonna wipe them down get the dust off these things at minimum will sell for 70 dollars plus shipping i picked up these timberland pro four inch work boots these do have a steel toe there's some scuffs on the front a little buffing with some doc martin's wonder balsam We'll clean these right up. These will get me 50 to $60 plus shipping. I got four pairs of jeans while I was in there today. I got these two pairs of ladies silver brand jeans. These should sell for about $25 each plus shipping. I also got this pair of ladies BKE jeans. BKE, for those who aren't familiar, is a mall brand. It's Buckle, the Buckle maybe. But uh, their jeans are pretty expensive pre-owned you can look to get $25 plus shipping these are the BKE stars these are a pretty popular style these are men's rock and republic not quite as cool as rock revival they're not $150 jeans another brand that's going to get you $25 plus shipping all right guys we got two Peter Millar polo shirts these are both my size and I considered keeping them I don't know if I'm going to yet this one I especially like I do play golf and these would be amazing out on the golf course. They're nice and lightweight, but we're looking at $20 a piece plus shipping on these, 475 into 20 all day long. Nike golf polos always sell. This one's super cool. It's got the Nike check on the back. It's like a raised rubber. I don't know what that is, but super cool. Got the stripes on the back, stripes on the sleeve. It is my size, again, thought about keeping it but y'all i'm here to make money not collect shirts this one's gotta go twenty dollars plus shipping on this all right this is a super cool patagonia hoodie this is a women's that bike graphic is super cool i saw a sold comp for this exact hoodie in a dark blue for thirty dollars that's what i'm gonna ask for mine thirty plus shipping callaway's not as good as nike when it comes to their polos this one may have been a bad buy it's okay though 12 bucks i'll make four or five dollars after fees not going to complain 12 plus shipping got another nike shirt here guys this one is long sleeve buttons in the front it is the sphere dry i don't know if you can see that pattern but people tend to like this this is uh, 18 dollars plus shipping all day long got a super cool north face here this is long sleeve almost like a columbia style fishing shirt $30 plus shipping on this guy. Y'all check out this Aztec pattern on this Lucky Brand shirt. Again, not a great buy. This is going to sell for about $15 plus shipping. Lucky Brand's just one of those bread and butter brands that I pick up when I see it. If it's got a cool design on it, this one's cool to me. All right, y'all got two of these Ping shirts. These are long sleeve golf shirts. One gray, one blue, both the same size. I'm going to lock these guys up and ask $35 plus shipping for the pair. Individually, you get about $18 a piece for these. All right, y'all. Next up, we got two Brooks Brothers 1818 Regent dress shirts. They're both white, both the same size, neck size, everything's the same. Going to lock these up and ask $40 bucks plus shipping. All right, y'all. Last up, I got five Polo Ralph Lauren polo shirts, all different colors. I generally don't lock these up, but all five are the same size, extra large. So I'm thinking I would normally get $15 a piece for these. I may lock these up 
ask fifty dollars plus shipping. So y'all, after taking out cost of goods of one hundred seventeen dollars and eBay fees, I'm left with a net profit of around two hundred and ninety dollars. I'm going to take twenty five percent of that and set it to the side for end of the year taxes. So I'm left with two hundred and seventeen dollars in profit after fees, cost of goods, and taxes taken out that's not too bad for half an hour spent in the thrift store now if my name was kevin brown commonwealth picker my net profit would probably be about three hundred thousand dollars more than that thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one